Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a treasure chest from Blocks. What is it? Blocks? Well, I forgot the game. I forgot the name of the game. Blocks something. Blocks piece. Blocks. I don't know. But the point is, I'm gonna show y'all how to make the treasure chest, right? You know when you're playing the game and you see chest spawn out of nowhere and stuff, and you walk up to it and then it gives you cash. I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. It's really simple. So let's head on over to server script service and insert a server script. First thing we have to do is make leader stats, you know, like a cash leader stats, something to keep track of the amount of cash a player has. So let's rename the script to leader stats. And actually leader stats slash treasure chest. Yeah, slash treasure chest script, I guess, or just leader stats, I guess we'll do leader stats script, right? We'll call it that. Then we'll delete print hello world we'll set up some leader stats so upon a player joining we want to make a folder for leader stats as well as give them the cash value so let's do game that players that player added colon connect function in parentheses put plr which is sure for the player who joined then press enter then we're going to create the leader stats folder so local leader stats is equal to instance dot new then folder in quotation marks right then do leader stats dot name oh sorry dot name is equal to in quotation marks leader stats right then of course you want to parent the leader stats folder to the player now we're going to make the cash value let's do local cash is equal to instance dot new number value then parent it to the leader stats and then do the same thing, you know, name it, whatever you want to call it. So cash for me, then set the default value, of course, to zero. <clears throat> and then next we need to create the chest, right? Um, obviously I'm not gonna, um, I'm obviously not going to like literally bring a, a treasure chest model. I'm just literally make a part. Yeah, I'm just make a part. I'm not going to model the whole thing. Just, just make a little box pretty much. Just imagine this is a treasure chest, right? And then call this, yeah, just call it treasure chest, I guess. Treasure chest, uh, I guess make it like, yeah, like nice and shiny and stuff. Cause you know, had, cause you know, you get money from it. So anchor it. And then it doesn't have can collide. I remember in the game, it doesn't have, like, you can't, like you can walk through it. So, cause it pretty much collects upon you touching it. So I'll turn can collide off. And then I will use a four IV in pairs loop, which actually I can put on the outside of this function now that I think about it. Yeah, I can put it in the outside of this function. I'm gonna put it at the, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it above this function. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do four I comma V in pairs game dot workspace colon get children enter, right? I'm gonna get all the children in the workspace. Then I'm gonna say if V dot name is equal to treasure chest then oh i forgot an equal sign make sure you put two equal signs here then v dot touch this will not autofill by the way colon connect function in parentheses put hit if hit dot parent colon find first child then in quotation marks put humanoid then we're going to search the players. We're going to get the player. So let's do local player is equal to game dot players. Find first child hit dot parent dot name. We've got the player. So now we're going to edit their leader stats. So player dot leader stats dot cash dot value. Wait, did I make my capital L or? Oh, I don't know why. Actually, mm, I'll do lowercase. Yeah, I'll just do lowercase. Cash dot value is plus sign equals on and then put your value here um i guess maybe i don't know 20 yeah yeah i remember i remember when i was playing i got about like 24 i think yeah i think i got like 24 and then after you want to destroy it like as soon as the player touches it you want to destroy it actually yeah let's make that the first thing actually let's make that the first thing upon a player touching it literally want to destroy it so i want to do hit or not hit i want to do v destroy right now when we test this it should just it should just give me it should only give it to me once because it's it should be destroyed after but i don't know because i know it like when you make functions that involve touching things it, it like it is be a whole thing so let me see okay 
20. Okay, so it seems to give 20. I'll test one more time just to make sure. If it glitches where like you go up and touch the cube and it gives you 20 like multiple times or it gives you whatever value you set it to multiple times, let me know the comments. I'll, I'll just go test it out. Okay, so it seems to be working and stuff, but yeah. That's how you make a simple collectible chest from, I, th I swear the game is called, if I'm not, yeah, I swear the game is called Blocks, Blocks Piece or something. I, th I think this was called, wait, let me, let me search it up. Blocks, or, oh, Blocks Fruit. Yeah, 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 Blocks Fruit, Blocks Fruit, that's what it is. Yeah, Blocks Fruit. But yeah, that's how you make a chest from Blocks Fruit. You walk up to the chest, you, you get cash, very simple and stuff. If you guys want like a part two where I show like how it, um, I guess randomly spawns throughout the map. I can figure that out. Y'all let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.